Hey guys, Fish in the Ville here, and um, I was just want to do a video um, going over the uh, reel that I just ordered from Bass Pro Shops. I know I did a video on the unboxing and stuff of it, but um, I got it on its rod, the rod that I had for it, and I'm getting ready to spool it up. I didn't want to spool it up yet, so because I want to be able to show y'all the spool, like what it looks like, um, and yeah, and I just show y'all the flipping the flipping switch and stuff. Um, I'll be spooling it up too so I can test it out, see how it casts and stuff, see if I like it, see if I don't want to return it or not, or if I want to return it or not, rather. Um, so here it is, as you can see, on the rod. Uh, I can't really see on my camera. Uh, it looks really big from the side right here, but it's really not at all. I mean, if you look at this other side, it is tiny. The reel is super light. It's 8.3 ounces. And there's a little flipping switch right there. Let's see if you'll right there. And uh, you flip that down, and then this engages. Oh, it's on right now. Um, you flip that down, and then the line only releases when you push down the button. And to lock the spool again, you don't have to. Normally, you have to uh, spin your handle, but on this, you just let go of the button. So this is using like you pull out a rod length of line, and then you flip it to your desired area. And you let go of the button to feather your cast into your spot. So it'll hit the water nice and soft. And you have a nice approach. Um, I've got it on my 6 foot 6 Quantum Tenacity um, medium rod with a uh, fast tip. Probably be spooling this up with 8 to 15 pound mono. I haven't really made up my mind yet. I'm going to try out some new lines. Probably going to try out a uh, P line. I haven't tried that yet. So. And a lot of guys I see on YouTube have that. But I'll probably just be using, um, what's it called? Uh, just a Stren 8-pound mono, just a generic, just to get used to the to the reel. Um, the reel has monstrous grips on the side here for your, so they're nice and big so that you can keep your hands on them. Um, they're made of felt, and so my, your fingers don't really slip on them. Well, at least I think they're felt. They're, they're a real soft material. I'm probably going to get some rubberized grips to put on them, though, because I don't really like the felt, and I know that that's going to start to decay, and it's going to start to decay and get pretty nasty once you get enough fish slime on it. Um, and then the little side compartment here, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And then it's got the internal and external braking system so that you have complete control over your cast. You can see there's the external right there. It's got from all the way up to free all the way to to the max setting of 10 and then this little button right here if you click this and turn the cap a quarter way counterclockwise it opens up the internal and then your spool comes out uh, pull that off and then there's your internal braking system right there yeah, that little red dot represents what number it's on zero being the loosest and six being the tightest I'll probably keep it on zero because I like to have my real I have, like to have my spool rather um, really loose because I like to be able to cast far um, but if I'm using the flipping switch I'll be using a lower number for sure so that I have more control oh crap make sure I didn't break my rod um, yeah I mean it's a good reel uh, I'm definitely gonna try it out with some line probably maybe tonight maybe tomorrow night I'm not for sure um, it's getting kinda late right now but yeah this has been uh, Fish in the Ville don't forget to rate comment subscribe check out my other videos and uh, leave a comment if you have one of these reels about what you think about the reel and also um, why don't you all leave like comments or messages or things about uh, videos that you'd like me to do like certain videos that you'd want me to do do a video about so yeah, don't forget to do that, and um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.